So let's say that you want to add some styles. You know how HTML and CSS works. You're used to adding styles with style sheets. And now you want to apply that concept to React. React tried to make it, tried to make it very similar to how it was done before. Before, if you, if you wanted to use some inline styles and not use it like in a separate style sheet with classes, if you want to use like inline styles, um, before you would put everything in quotes like this. You would say, let's say background, background color, and then you would say blue in quotes. Well, I already have that type of quote outside, so I have to switch the type of quote so that I can use this quote inside like that. Right, you would say background color blue, and then you would keep adding more properties. Color white. Ah, actually, blue doesn't have to be in, in quotes now that I remember. Okay, so color white, and then you would keep like a huge string. So, what React proposes is why don't you cut that and you put it like an object, like a JavaScript dictionary or a JavaScript object, like that. You would have to, of course, you cannot use dashes, so you would put it together with a capital letter, like camel case, one after the other, and since it's an object and property, you would put it in commas. And now you cannot have white like that, so you would have to put it in quotes. And that's basically what you have to do, like you would put it in an object, and then you would put that object in your styles, like that. That's pretty much it. So here they're telling us that they want us to add font size to 16, so if before it was font size, now I'm going to camel case it, so font size, and in the right side I'm going to put 16 pixels. Background color has to be black. I just removed the background color, but whatever, let's just type it again. Background color has to be black, so black, and then a yellow border of one pixel. So I don't remember, I think it's border. And that's it. One pixels, yellow, solid. And that will make it uh, one pixel. That's normal plain CSS. The only thing that has changed is that it's like an object now. And then I put it here. I just wanted to say that another option that you have, or that you may see in the tutorials out there, is that they sometimes put it in line. Like they copy this object here, and they paste it in the same style property, like there. That makes it super easy. Uh, messy, but the the biggest confusion becomes because now you have a double curly bracket like this, and you have to have that double curly bracket because now you have an object inside, so you're putting it in line. So don't get confused by the double curly bracket. Leave it there because it's supposed to be there. But it's more explicit. It's more explicit or easier to understand if you separate that object and you put it back like a separate object, and then you put the property inside. Uh, the object name, you put it in the property style. That's going to make it a lot easier. So let's see if this works. Build. It should be with a back, background black. Does it have the background black? Yeah. Background black, perfect. And then the yellow border, it's also there. Let's test it and see if it works. We have a difference. Let me see what the problem is. Oh yeah, I use background color. You can use background color. It, the test is wrong. Let me see if I can fix this test because you can just use background and it will still work with normal background like that. And the border apparently, ah uh, yeah, we, I put yellow solid and then they were expecting solid yellow. So that's another thing that can still work like that. The response, my answer was perfect, but the, the test is very, strict. It doesn't allow you any other ways of solving the exercise. I'm, I'm going to try to fix the, the test so that it allows more flexibility. But that's it.